to Rant Therapy. Because sometimes you just need to get it off your chest so you can move on with your life. It's a podcast short powered by the co-hosts of the Happy Eating Podcast. Briley, what do you serve for this week? Oh, I'm still so over back to school. Let me tell you something. So there's these two programs that Hold we on. use. Hold on. Your kids have gone to school for two days. For two days. And now it's the weekend. Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. Well, first of all, we had a very extensive neighborhood text message about carpooling last week, which I am extremely grateful for the carpooling to the middle school. But. Yeah, because you would not make it in the morning. No. <laughs> I would not, but I hope you signed up for afternoon pickup. No, I signed up for one morning a week. I can do one morning a week. I can handle one morning a week okay. and it's Thursday. So like I've got a few days to really rally and prepare okay. myself, okay. you know, um, uh, for new listeners, I'm not a morning person. Um, and I'm not usually on time for anything. I ever. feel like I have seen you walk your kids to school, which they can walk to it or the elementary school, at least in your bathrobe. I've driven them in my bathroom. I've walked outside. I've walked down the street in my You've bathroom. Walked down the street in your bathroom. Yeah, fortunately, I haven't gone so far as to walk them to school in my bathroom. Maybe I'll do that for Halloween. I'll be like, this is my Halloween costume. Just kidding. I didn't get dressed. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. So we have two platforms. We have one called Power School. And until this year, we only used Power School just to like re register our kids for school mm -hmm. every year. Then we have this other one called Schoolology, which I'm sure a lot of other parents use, where you go and you check what how the kids' grades were, right, or like what okay. some upcoming assignments are. So we go to middle school orientation, and they are like, you have to download Power School and you have to download Schoolology, both apps on your phone. Okay. Then they explain to us where what we use in Power School and what we use in Schoolology. If you think that I could keep that straight, I can't. So why can't there be one app to do everything? You know what? I would love to know. And then yesterday, I get an email about how I have to download a third one, a third one app. I don't even know. Let me see. I can't even remember what it's called. It's called Parent Square. So now I have to download Parent Square because the teachers are only communicating to us through Parent, Parent Square. Square. Okay. Now, here's the thing, too. So now I've got three apps that I'm supposed to be checking, mind you. Then... Even though you sign up for them, they send you an email yeah. to tell you that they've posted in there and your phone notifies you or my watch notifies me that oh something gosh. has been posted. Clearly, I have to work on my settings. I'm sure some tech person is going to be like, that woman is such a ding dong. Anyway, but then I have to figure out how to toggle between my kids in the app. Oh. Okay. And their UI UX is not that user friendly. Because now I have to toggle between two different schools. Yeah. So I'm betting these programs weren't originally created to be used as an app. They were created for like a web a base. A web yeah. base. Yeah. So I'm guessing the apps probably aren't that great. No. Well, also, they had to retrofit them for an app. Also, the font is very small. <laughs> so I'm very thankful that I'm not yet into readers, but I'm pretty sure that these apps are going to drive me to need readers. Yeah. Probably so. Three apps, people. Three apps. Well, and then on top of that, you've got the group me's coming in. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's off the charts. Yeah. I think there were like 60 messages that came in on Sunday night. Yeah. Parents get going on that. They, I mean, and it's like because it's not in your text messages, they just like unnecessarily respond. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I had to turn off notifications for the ones I'm in. Yeah. But then you do have to remember to go check. Like a lot of times I forget to go check and then I've got like four or five pages of scrolling, scrolling. I've got to go back through. Yeah. And well, and then, and you then I'm start like, well, oh shit. There's, everyone's donated all the money they need for the senior breakfast. Guess right. I'll catch Guess. the next one. Looking like I'm a slack parent. <laughs> Sorry, I was working and you all started it at 10 a.m. and now it's 2 p.m. and, and I'm taking a little break. And yeah. oh, and everything's Susan's taken got care. the chicken minis covered. <laughs> that's the only thing I was signing up for, friends. <laughs> that was it. Oh, the group me's are unbelievable. Well, what about forms? I was shocked. So Madeline is a senior, a senior in high school. And okay, maybe a code of contact conduct, I would expect, but her science teacher is sending home a form that the parent has to sign to say that they have read what the class is about. This is a senior in high school. 
you know what? I can guarantee you you're not going to get any of that next year when she goes off to college. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. But no, I'm with you. I am with you. We So I had to sign a code of conduct for Holland last night. She yeah. just started the sixth grade. So it's like, you know, big leagues in terms of discipline now, right? I mean, I thought that that girl was going to come apart at the seams because she couldn't find the paper copy, even though there was an electronic version that I was supposed oh. to sign. And she Well, they scare you to death about the code of conduct. I remember when I, when I was in school, it was like, like if you lost that or you couldn't find it or it was crumpled, like you were getting kicked out. Like something bad was happening. She was I don't blame her. Freaking out. Yeah. Freaking out. She was like, can you email my teacher? I was like, absolutely not. You can talk to your teacher tomorrow. This is not my responsibility. Anyway, so I finally find the digital version of it when I'm signing up for my new app here. And... I'm like, oh, honey, don't worry. It's not due until August 13th. (laughs) I'm like, we got the weekend, babe. We're going to figure this one out. And Holland's more like me. is like, we need to sign it tonight and get it back first thing in the morning. Yes, yes. She was like, no, no, no. We need to do it tomorrow. I was like, I signed it electronically. If I need to do a paper one, ask your teacher tomorrow. Bless her heart. (sighs) Well, you know, neither of us have. I still have one that hasn't gone back to school yet. Oh, yeah. I still have another first day coming. But. For the for our kids that are in school, we haven't even had a full first week. No. And I know I'm gonna have another I'm so over part three. I'm so over back to school part three. Yeah. Because um we haven't gotten to open house yet. Oh you know the best open house ever was during COVID and it was by Zoom and I could drink a glass of wine during it. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> I was like, this is the way to do open house. Yeah. I think I yeah. got a little tipsy. Yeah. Wait, let me tell you one more story, and then I'll stop jibber-jabbering on this thing. So, remember last week how I was coming to Tuscaloosa to see you? Yeah. And so, but before that, we had Meet the Teacher. And so I walk into the house, and, you know, Andy and I are taking Etta to Meet the Teacher. And I walk into the house, and I've got this cute little dress on and these, like, fun little sneakers. And and Etta's so sweet. She's like, Mommy, I love your outfit. It looks so great. And your sneakers, even the shoelaces that you put in with your sneakers, like, she's so cute. And Andy looks at me and he goes, what are you doing in Tuscaloosa? And I was like, I was like, well, I'm just, I'm catching up with some friends, you know? And he was like, you're already getting dressed for dinner now? And I was like, no, Andy, I'm wearing this to go to meet the teacher. Like, so anyway, so then we come back from meet the teacher and I looked at him and I said, do you see now why I put on a cute outfit? He goes, oh yeah, I forgot it was a fashion show for all the moms. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. You got to get dressed for meet the teacher. Yeah. So usually open house too. I feel like you got to get dressed for that. Yeah. I'm thinking I get to skip. I don't have to go to open house this no, year with the senior. Skip, yeah. And I skipped my son's open house. He doesn't start back, but they already had like a thing last night, and I just skipped it. Yeah, forget it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see if there's another one next week. <laughs> well, good luck. Yeah, okay. Feel better? I do. Good. Go go check your apps. <laughs> The opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints expressed by the hosts of this podcast do not necessarily reflect the opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints of anyone anywhere else. This is meant for entertainment purposes only.